Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so our topic for today is solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Diba we solve quadratic equations using the famous methods namely completing the square, factorization, and of course the quadratic formula. However, I chose this quadratic formula as a method of solving. Why? Because not all quadratic equations can be factorable. So I have decided to use this method so I can be able to find the x for the quadratic equations, whether factorable or not. Okay, so here is the general term of the quadratic equations. Okay, so we read it as ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So shall I elaborate? So your a is the coefficient of the x squared, while your b is the coefficient of x, then your c is a constant. When we say constant, it is a number that has no literal coefficient. So, bale, number lang siya. So, number lang siya talaga. So, to classify a, b, and c, they're all real numbers. Yun si a, b, and c. However, your a should not be zero. So, meaning to say, your a should not be zero. Otherwise, it will be a linear equation. Why? Because if your a is equal to zero, then what will happen is zero times x squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So, what will happen here if it will be zero? So, goodbye na to. Then what will remain is bx plus c equals 0. So therefore, this is not a quadratic equation. However, if your a is not 0, okay, so let me write first. So we can assume that the term will be still ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So therefore, this can be called as quadratic equation. When we say quadratic equation, the highest degree is 2. As you see, the exponent of 2. Okay, so let me discuss the formula of the quadratic equations to solve for x. So here's a quadratic formula. So we read it as x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac tapos over 2a. So yung 2a mo lang ang denominator mo. Okay, now we're going to use this formula to solve for the values of x for this equation. Our first step is we're going to recall the general term of the quadratic equation. Why? Because we need to find the a, b, and c first. Okay, so we're going to ano, compare. So since both are coefficients of x, we can say that your a is equal to 2. While in b and 5, y they're equal because both are coefficients of x. Then your c shall be negative 3 because both are constants. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to recall the quadratic formula. So now what we're going to do is use these values to substitute this formula. So we're going to replace b with 5. Then what we're going to do is we're going to replace a with 2 and your c with negative 3. So what we're going to do now sa baba, also known as the denominator is, we're going to replace a with 2. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to solve what's inside the square root. So, PEMDAS is still applied 
to this. So, exponents muna tayo. So, 5 raised to the power of 2 shall be 25 because 5 times 5. So, now we're going to multiply 4, 2, and negative 3. So, 4 times 2 is equal to 8 times negative 3, which is negative 24. Then, 2 times 2 is 4. So, what are we going to do next is... We're going to observe the signs. Since both are minus or negative, it will be positive because nagmumultiply silang dalawa. Okay, so now, ang matitira, na, natitira na ngayon ay C25 si plus 24. So, what we're going to do is to add. So, it will be 49 over 4. So, now, what we're going to do next is we're going to find the square root of 49. So, what's the square root of 49? It is 7. Kasi yun si 49, perfect square yan. Kaya, mahanap mo yung square root niya. Okay? So, as much as possible, we need to find the square root of the value. Pero kung hindi na to perfect square, leave it there kung wala siyang factor na perfect square. Pero kapag may factor siya na perfect square, you have to simplify. But we're going to discuss it in the second and last example. Okay, so, but before that, what we're going to do is, we're going to separate this into two sets. Yan si plus at minus, pinaghiwalay na natin. So, negative 5 plus 7 will be 2. The denominator will be 4. While negative 5 minus 7 will be negative 12 over 4. So, what we're going to do next is, we're going to find the lowest term. So, ang common factor nyan is 2. So, 2 divided by 2 will be 1. Then, 4 divided by 2 will be 2. Then, what we're going to do here is, i-divide na natin. Kasi, both have a common factor of 4. So, what we're going to do is, i-divide na natin diretso. So, it will be negative 3. So, here are the values of x for this equation. Okay. So, now, we're going to discuss the same thing with the next example. Okay, so here again. So now, what we're going to do next is repeat the routine. Okay, so ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So find a, then b, then c. So, i-relate na natin tong general term sa given equation ito. Then, our next step is we call this quadratic formula. Okay, so what we're going to do next is substitute. Ay, oo nga pala, may nakalimutan pala ako. So, yung B natin ay magiging negative 4 dahil equal silang dalawa. Okay? Then your A will be 5. Then your C will be negative 2. Then, here again sa denominator na 2A, your A will be 5. Okay, so negative times negative is positive. So, it will be 4. Double negation to. Then, what is negative 4 squared? So, since yung negative 4 ay nasa loob ng parenthesis, so negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. Okay, so now, we're going to multiply 4 times 5 is 20. Then, 20 times negative 2 is negative 40. Okay, so now, we're going to observe these signs. Then, ipa-finalize na natin na unti-unti. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to find the square root of 56. Kaso, perfect square ba si 56? Of course not. It's not a perfect square. So, the other way to find the square root of 56 is, we're going to 
find two factors. So, what are the factors of 56? Okay, so it will be, so ilalagay ko na sa taas, ha? 4 and 14. So, kailangan yung isa sa factors nila ay perfect square. Para mag-simplify tayo, para makahanap tayo ng simplified form ng non-perfect square na number. Okay, so the square root of 4 is 2. Is this a perfect square? Hindi. Anong factors ng 14? 7 and 2. Perfect square ba yung dalawa? Hindi. So, i-retain na natin ng square root of 14. Magbibigay pa ako ng isang example. If it's square root of 13, is it a perfect square? Wala. Hindi. Anong factors ng 13? Siyempre, 13 at 1. Perfect square ba yung dalawa? Wala. So, kung no conditions are met, okay, so we're going to copy this. So, as is na to. So, going back to the solution, so the square root of 56 is 2 square root of 14 over 10. Much better na mag-lowest term po tayo para hindi tayo mahirapan. So, ano yung common factor ng 4, 2, at saka 10? So, 2. So, cancel in natin. So, what will remain is 2 plus minus square root of 14 over 5. Why we cannot combine this? Because square root of 14 is an irrational number. While si 2 naman ay integer. So, hindi pwede mag-add si irrational number at si rational number. So, hindi pwede mag-add yung square root ng number na hindi perfect square sa number. For example, 3 plus square root of 11. Pwede ba sila ma-add? Mano-mano, hindi. So, ikakalculator pa natin yan. So, i-remain na natin yan ito pag mano-mano. So, kung gusto niyo mag-calculator to find the, the exact value of this, bahala kayo. Pero I am teaching you to solve quadratic equations without the calculator. So, therefore, our answer is 2 plus minus square root of 14 over 5. So, tada! So, thank you. So, happy learning. So, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So, thank you.